Drug discovery is one of the most complex, risky, and lengthy areas of human development. Every year there are thousands of new drugs in development at labs around the world. But only a tiny fraction of them arrive to clinical trials never mind final approval. Even among those that do get through, the majority of new drugs are just newer versions of existing drugs, like cheaper generic versions. Usually, the journey of new drugs from target to market will have taken more than 10 years and cost around $2 billion. AI is changing drug discovery in revolutionary ways to make the hunt quicker, cheaper, and more effective. November 30th, Insilico Medicine announced the initiation of first-in-human study of ISM-001-055, a potentially first-in-class small molecule inhibitor of a novel biological target with a unique mechanism of action. It was generated by Insilico's end-to-end -end AI-powered drug discovery platform, which leveraged generative biology and generative chemistry to discover novel biological targets and generate novel molecules with drug-like properties. The achievement of the drug demonstrated Insilico's AI-powered target discovery and generative chemistry capabilities. I'd like to say Insilico Medicine is AI from A to Z. AI has been, I hate to use this phrase, in their DNA from the very beginning. And this means that instead of focusing, say, on docking and then adding AI, they've always focused on how do we go from nothing to a drug. We have half the process, the hard half, but I think it'll be everywhere. The potential drug is being developed for the treatment of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, a chronic lung disease which results in progressive and irreversible decline in lung function. After showing highly promising results in multiple preclinical studies and completing IND-enabling studies, Insilico Medicine has initiated the microdose trial to begin characterizing the pharmacokinetic profile in humans. The trial delivers the experimental compound in healthy volunteers via intravenous injection, and is being conducted in Australia. A lot of companies get to the point before humans. You know, in some ways, going to humans requires a lot of self-confidence. What I like about uh, in silico is in some ways they want to lighten the whole process. They want to make the whole thing more approachable. And that's very, very good. You know, one big burden in, in designing drugs is the cost of errors. And in order to be truly innovative, you have to make errors. But the important thing is to use the errors as a way of learning. I think learning, I think AI is essentially applying the best biological learning to a very difficult process. We believe this is a significant milestone in the history of AI-powered drug discovery because to our knowledge the drug candidate is the first ever AI-discovered novel molecule based on an AI-discovered novel target. We hope that this study will inspire a much greater shift to drug discovery paradigm by pharmaceutical organizations all around the globe. With our highly motivated and dedicated team of experts, we continue to innovate and refine our approach and to expand to other therapeutic areas and find more novel drug candidates that will become future medicines.